it's down there about eight inches. So this is what I'll need. Be sure about this aesthetically, guys. All right. Today we're gonna continue with part two of the refugium build. The plumbing, setting it up, testing, letting it run. So let's get right into it today. I had to rearrange the height in here for the tank now that it's gonna be gravity fed out the back. So there it is, I had to raise it up and now I'm gonna put the bulkhead on. All right, what I'm doing here guys is I'm putting a rubber washer on both sides. Sometimes you can't find rubber washers to fit bulkheads the right size. So this is the way I make a rubber washer from this stuff that you can get at Home Depot. It's rubber washer material. And I'll show you how I do it. I'm gonna put a washer on both sides of the glass because I had a little bit of a leak. So what I do is I just trace the outline of the other washer that I know fits. And then I just cut it out and use this as the second washer. I did a water test and it leaked a little bit from the bottom, so I'm gonna put Double washers, rubber washers on both sides. Looks good on the water test, guys. No drips anywhere. I'll probably let this sit in here 24 hours, or at least 12 hours. About halfway up, which is a little bit more probably than will overflow. You have to plan out your plumbing. This was difficult because I had to get behind the cabinet so measuring things and getting it lined up wasn't easy, but I did it. So this is what I'll need. I got Teflon tape. This is a slip connection, so I can take the piece on and off. That's a 90 elbow, a 45. This is a threaded to one inch. And of course, one inch PVC. You're gonna need some PVC primer and PVC cement. And you'll need a PVC cutter. mention this real quick guys this is the Tom Reefer studio so for example the way I plumb this in I wouldn't have done this if this were out in my living room or some real nice display area the only people who come in here are my wife and kids and this is the studio it's kind of like experimentation it's the classroom <laughs> tang is ready for the tank so probably next week file fish he's been eating aptasia but he snoops around everything he has not eaten any zoas or picked on any of the kenya tree in there but he's got those big eyes and he looks around i'm concerned about putting him in there the pump is suction cupped to the side, and even if it falls off, the return hose is taunt enough, so it's kind of just dangle in there, but it's got plenty of room. I may get a different pump. This is just a Palaco or something from Amazon. I may get another pump, same gallon per hour, that's a little more quiet, but this one is doing okay, so we'll have to see. So it's up and running. It's hooked up back here, no leaks. Okay. 
It's pretty quiet. So another week or so, I'll let this run. No leaks, just let it run. I may not add any macro algae in here for a while. The reason being is that I have zero nitrate and zero phosphate. So I want to wait until I see a little bit of nitrate. I just have been experimenting even with my skimmer and I'll save that for another video. So 5,000 guys. Not bad. I appreciate it. Thanks. Let's keep the train a rolling. 5,000. Not bad. My son's all psyched about it, but you know, I get up to about 100,000, then I'll get excited. <laughs>